welcome to our show for those of you who have just joined us. This is the um, show which features the public at large being filmed in situations of which they are completely unaware because, as, because this is, I can't read those last two words. Candid camera. Oh, they are unaware because this is... Candid camera. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been on it. Welcome to the show in which we feature the public at large as filmed by Candid Camera. Right now we're going to pay a visit to a shop where we have set up a pile of crockery and an unseen length of nylon line. As customers pass the crocks, we pull the line and crash down they go. Oh my God, nearly touched it. Bye now. You'll remember last week we showed you some film in which Arthur Atkins was accused by his wife, played by Sheila Burnett, of having stayed out all night with a girlfriend. And in desperation, Arthur had managed to get off the hook by calling upon a male customer in the shop to give him an alibi, a man he had never met before in his entire life. Which proves that in such matters, we men are inclined to stick together. Now comes the question. Would women stick together if confronted with the same situation? Well, we're going to find out because now Arthur is going to come into the same shop and accuse Sheila of having stayed out all the previous evening and he's going to demand an explanation. And Sheila, in desperation, will call upon a female customer to the shop to give her an alibi, a woman she has never met before in her entire life. Oh, hello, dear. So, where were you last night? Well, um, I was here all night. I was, uh, I told you, I, didn't I tell you I was having no, a day I stop? I up and I didn't get any answer. Oh, well, Mrs Jones here will tell you. She she was with me. You were with me all last night, weren't That's you? Right, yes. Well, well here? Yeah. In here? Of course. Pardon? Of course, yes. Right. Well, I rang up and I didn't get any answer. I rang up and I didn't get any answer. We, we were stock taking, weren't we? Well, you asked me if I'd help out. Yeah, I was here till quite late. My husband's outside if you want to check. What time? Why are you here? Till about, oh, uh, quite late, weren't we? I mean, it was sort of all time. Two thirty ish. You weren't here all night. So, where were you last night then, all night? Well, I told you I was here stopped. You just said you were with, with Mrs. Well, Jones. Well, she, yes, she was here with me. Well, all night? All right, I've got to get round to the. Uh... Were you here all night with her? No, I left at 10 30 and I brought back coffee. You left at 10 30. Right. You see, so you weren't here all night. Well, well, she she was here with me. All night long. Quarter to eleven. Quarter to eleven. Quarter to eleven. Well, you've established an alibi till quarter to eleven. Where did she? What happened after that? Well, you know, I don't know. It's the third degree. I'm not. I want to know where she went to last night after quarter to eleven. Well, you'll have to ask her because she was still here, stock taking at quarter to eleven. I helped her out to begin with. And that was it. I brought back coffee at quarter to eleven, and she was still here afterwards. You were still stop taking. Oh yes, I mean she, she, you know, she wouldn't lie because she's, she's, you know, a very good friend of mine, aren't you? 
Well, I tell him. Up, I rang at half past one this morning and there wasn't any answer at the shop then. Oh, well, I'm, I must have been up the back. Or perhaps that's when well, we nipped out for coffee, wasn't it? Well, I bought coffee at Paul's Square. You bought coffee here? You never oh, went out for coffee? Well, she she, well, she bought might have done afterwards, though, because I didn't see her after that. I went home. I've got a husband and a couple of kids to look after. You see, you anyway, I've got to go around to the station. That laundry, money, pick up later. Yeah, right. Thanks, Mr. Stone. My, if looks could kill. Well, I suppose the answer to the question, do women react in much the same way as men, is probably yes. It's just a matter of degree. The other day, we went up to a well-known North London golf range where golfers go to practice, and we pulled a couple of stunts up there. In the first stunt, we substituted some golf balls made of plaster for the real ones. Just watch these golfers when they go to hit them. You know, the etiquette of golf always fascinates me. One is told that one should remain silent when a player is taking his stroke. But there was a time when I had a rather unfortunate bout of hay fever at a golf driving range where I was working as a groundsman. <laughs> Every time I try to take a shot. Oh, I've got a fever. I'm awfully sorry. Oh. Sorry. And your time is very good, you see. I'm awfully sorry. It's working out here, isn't it? It comes on now and again, you yeah. know. Welcome back to Real 2. And our first situation consists of two parts. In the first, Sheila Burnett, in her favourite role of the little old lady, is going to ask younger members of the public to see her across the road. Nice day, isn't it? Oh, very, very nice. Mm. Yes, yes, right. yes. Lovely. Thank you very much. Really. Hello, Sheila. 
No need to be. Thank you very much. No <laughs> And in the second part, Arthur Atkins is going to ask a very charming and very helpful senior citizen to see him across the road. Can you see me across this busy main road, please? Hmm? Can you see me across this busy main road? Yes, I will. Wait a bit. All right. Wait a bit. It's all right now. That's right. No, there's nothing coming that way. It only comes this way. Now, wait a Mind. bit. Mind. There's one here, look. <laughs> Come on this side. Now it's all right. Nothing coming that way. Only this way. Come along. What about this corner? No, that's all right. You, you trust yourself to me. Come along. That's all right. Careful. Come. Something no, coming around the corner. No, well, no, you. Come along. You follow me quickly. Come along. You'll never get across the road if you do that. Come along. Straight across quickly. Now? Just, yes, now. Come along. No, just... no, 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 it's somebody walking. Oh. There you are. Listen, on here, the traffic comes this way. There's a car? Yes, that's all right. It's not going to come on the pavement. They come this way. There's another one? Yes. Nothing goes that way. If you want that side, the traffic goes that way. Mine. Now, where is it you want to go? That way. Well, we wait for this car to pass. Now it's all right. Come along. No, 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 straight ahead here. Come on. That's all right. There's nothing coming. Careful. No, well, it, come along. There is nothing coming. Nothing coming. Those are all cars standing. There's not. There's one coming. Well, it, but it's not going to come onto the pavement. Here's the pavement. There you are. Thank you very much. From the pedestrian, we now take a look at the motorists. We installed Arthur and Sheila as two attendants on a car park at Waterloo. And we also had, on that same car park, four cars which belonged to Candy Camera. Now, in each instance, the cars that you see Arthur and Sheila drive and also collide with do belong to us. Now, you know that, and I know that. But, of course, the incoming motorists to that car park didn't know it. OK, welcome. Uh, uh, she'll park it for you in a moment. All oh, right. This is. I hope she won't. Well, it's the new lady they've sent down from the other car park. So there's a piece you want for me to get in now. No. She'll, she'll be all right. She'll, she mustn't drive this, I'm afraid. <laughs> she'll be all right. Oh, she can't do that. No, you can't. Sent her down from the other car park. I'm you can't. Do that. Supposed to be an uh, experienced driver. Well, look, how can you? That's ridiculous. She must be tight. Well, she won't drive this. Just. Right, just leave your keys at no, the car, I'm sir. Not. Sorry, dear. I'm, a, I'm not allowing this to be driven. Oh, well, I'm sorry. It's regulations, you see. I'm just new today. I'm not allowing my car to be used like you did that driving there. Now, please. I am a magistrate and I will not allow it. Ah, well, then you'd understand. You see, yes, sir, I'm I... the only person insured to drive cars. Yes. Right. OK, then. Uh, in that case, I must go. Oh, Actually, well... Because, you see, we can't allow that sort of thing to happen, can we? Oh, yeah, but now, you Now, look, see... now, look, dear, no, don't give me the old, uh, the old story. Three times you hit three different cars. Now, people park their cars in here, expect them to be correct, and that is bad driving. Oh, well... Uh, with, with there's only a little scratch. Oh, no, 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 there's no little scratch there at all. That's oh. bad driving. Yes, but I'm insured for well, it. Well, no, I'm not. No, quite, that's why I have to park but your you're car. you're not going to drive this car if that's the standard of driving. Now, please. Oh, it's regulation. Uh, I'm sorry, whether it's regulation or not. You are not driving a Rolls and doing damage like that. That's three cars you've hit, and I sincerely hope you're going to take the numbers and see that the people, the damage on that one is quite considerable. You've done £15 worth of damage 
if I know a penny on that car there. I don't know what you've done with that car there. I think it's absolutely disgusting. Now, who is in charge of this um, car park? Ah, uh, older man over there, I think. Right. Well, let's make oh, a, a man... formal complaint because I'm not going to allow that to happen. It'd be more than my, my job is worth. Well, shall I park your car while no, you're making you a complaint? Show, no, you show me where it should be parked and I'll park it. Oh, well, you see, I have to park it for you. All right, well, in that case, I must leave. Uh, I am Excuse a Excuse me, sir. Yes. There's just one thing you should know. This is Miss Sheila Burnett. I, listen, Do you know Sheila Burnett? I don't know Sheila Burnett. I wouldn't, uh, you know, uh, with respect, I've only seen a lady drive a car in a most appalling fashion Three cars have been damaged, yeah. right? Right. I am a magistrate. I'm just off to a magistrate's meeting, and I certainly will not allow that type of thing to happen to my car. Well, no, we wouldn't, sir. You've heard of a programme called Candid Camera? Yeah. Well, you've just been on it. This is Miss Sheila Burnett. You've uh, reacted to... Uh, and those cars belong to us, so you don't have to worry. Are you sure? Positive. Yes. And I do own. drive quite well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you like to park wherever you want to? Wherever I want to. Yes. Yes. I give up. <laughs> You sure Fine. you don't want me to park it for you, sir? <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> and now, Sheila goes to lunch and Arthur Atkins takes over. Pardon? What's this, Enable? Can I can't hear you. Sorry, oh, a bit deaf. What? What's this? Oh, it's uh, parking now. We're, they insist we park uh, the oh, cars. Oh, he's not going to park this like that. Pardon? I hope he's not going to make the sort of noises with this that he made with that. Oh, no, 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 no. He's quite a good driver, this boy. I say, but well, he makes the most yeah. peculiar sounds there. Pardon? He makes the most peculiar sounds. Yeah. Jesus, Wetch, well, he's not getting near this, I tell you. Excuse me, but I prefer to park my own car. I'm not letting him park Pardon? it. I'm not letting... Look, he's just driven into that twice. What? He's driven into that car twice. I didn't see a thing. I saw it twice. He's not driving my car. No, look. It won't be a second. He'll soon have this parked. He's, he's crashed three times. Excuse me. Excuse me, but yeah. it's not parking this. Why not? Because he's just hit that one three times. But he's a very good driver. He's not. A very good driver. He's like candid camera or something. No, no. He's not driving this. You're next. What is this in aid of? You're not driving this. This is next one. You're not driving... Right, park your car, miss. No. Hmm? You're not parking this. Is this something... This is something funny going on. Yes, we've got to park the cars today. You're not actually parking this, mate. Hop out and I'll park it for you. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You're not parking this. Not after that effort. What effort? You just hit that three times. No, I hit that one twice. The other one I hit once. <laughs> But yeah. yours will be all right. No, you're not parking this. It's not no. automatic, is it? No, it's not. You're not parking this. Go to hell. No. Hmm? What, what is going on here? I've got to park them. It's <laughs> the insurance <laughs> regulations. Just carry, sir. Why are we doing? Well, can I speak to them over there, please? Because you're sure as hell not getting in this car. Why not? Don't you like men drivers? No, I don't mind men drivers, but I don't particularly like your driving. Go on. Here, let me out of here. I'll find a little hole for it up there. No, it's OK. I can find my own little hole for it. What's this all made of? The lady won't let me park it. Huh? Don't you want me to park it? Actually, you were right earlier on. You know when you said, is this candid camera? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it is candid camera, and you've just been on it over there. Oh, you go... <laughs> oh, God. It's got the license. Yeah. Let's send them down to us, you know. Got to employ women now. Women so to drive this car. Well... Right, sorry about that, it's my first day. Park your car, sir. Yeah, no, I'll park it, let me park it. What I've seen so far, I'll park it myself. Oh, would you see? No, I've got to, because it's my job, it's regulations. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not letting you drive my car. Oh, well, uh, you know, I'll lose my job if you don't. Well, I'm sorry, that it can't, can't be helped. From what I've seen just now, I'm not letting you drive my car. Oh, well, why is that? Because I'm a woman, is it, I suppose? No, because you bumped two cars. Oh, that was nothing, that was only a little right, bump. Please tell me where I should park. Well, no, you leave your keys. See, I'll I'm park it. I'm not leaving my keys to that car, and I'm not letting you drive it. Is there space there? I'll put it in there. Well, you see, I'm supposed to put it in for you. Look, please, don't have an argument. Either you let me park my car or you don't, all right? Make up your mind. Well, you see, you see I lose my job. I lose my job, sir. You don't care, do you? No, I lose my job. Oh, care. please, no. stop.
Pardon, sir? Hmm? Put your window down. I can't hear you, sir. Is it that car? Well, oh, Ella. You didn't see it. Yeah, look. He ain't going to drive this, is he? What's the new regulations now, parking, sir? I should think he is, darling. Oh, he's knocked that one over now. He ain't going to park this, is he? Well, it's new regulation now, sir, parking. Well, he can't drive. It's quite a... Next one here, right, Arthur. Why aren't you done with that? Hmm? You're going to do the same with this one as you've done with that. Park it, you've yeah, I'll park it. You've wrecked two cars. Pardon? You've wrecked three cars, there. Eh? No, two I hit, not three. Boy, the one you've been driving. Where's the gears? The gears? Hey? Right? Got gears on this one? Yeah. You checking it? Yeah, I just seen it, sorry. The steering. Right? Just set the poles out, eh? Uh, get it in there, I think. Which gear is first? They don't know how to drive. They don't have first gear. I do know the first gear, it's just I can't see very well. Can't see? You're going to drive somebody else's car? Well, he was sent down from the other car park and said he was a good driver. Well, it's time to go now and over to Mr. Public at Large to sign off. So it's goodbye now from the public at large and. Did camera. Is it really? Yeah, thank you. You just made the closing announcement. Uh...